सो हाई डियर एरीज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जनरल अ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द एरीज सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग द रोल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम सेवनटीन टिल द ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रिल सो लेट स्टार्ट एरीज योर पार्टनर्स करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर लेट सी वट इज हैपनिंग वी गॉट टेम्परेंस कार्ड बॉटम ऑफ द डेक इज द सेवन ऑफ मॉर्ट ओके इधर यू हैव ब्लॉक दिस पर्सन और दे हैव ब्लॉक्ड यू और देर इज समथिंग बिटवीन यू गाइज दैट ब्लॉकिंग द फ्लो ऑफ दिस कनेक्शन बिटवीन यू गाइज राइट नाउ ओके सो एंड दिस पर्सन इज बींग वेरी वेरी पेशेंट दिस पर्सन इज ट्राइंग देर बेस्ट टू बैलेंस देर इमोशंस बैलेंस दिस सिचुएशन बैलेंस दिस कनेक्शन इट कुड बी डीलिंग विद सेजिटेरियस so somebody is walking away like somebody is not able to walk away from this situation sorry completely either you or this person although you might uh, you guys might not be able to talk to each other like completely or connected with each other completely physically you guys have separated or something like this or period of silence going on but one of you is not able to walk away completely from the situation now let's clarify the temperance card let's do the temperance we got the magician the 9 of cups and the 2 of swords okay someone here is trying to manifest this connection back to life but they are not sure whether it is ever going to happen or not that is why this person is trying to balance their own emotions balance the situation and being very very patient with the situation with the connection with this whole relationship dynamic between you and them somebody is trying to manifest happiness here manifest this this kind of wish fulfillment kind of energy between you and them okay uh, but they are not sure whether it is uh, ever going to happen or they are not sure how to do it that is why somebody is trying to be patient and just trying to manifest silently the happiness the uh, you know wish fulfillment in the situation so you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio or sagittarius even if you are not please go with the energies don't go with the signs only okay let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now Three of Swords. You are quite heartbroken, and you have surrendered to the divine. You are in this energy of let the universe decide for me. Uh, let the universe interfere in this situation, and let's see what happen. Let's see what can happen. I am totally heartbroken. I am completely sad and depressed about it. You feel like talking to this person, or because of this person not talking to you, lack of communication or lack of, you know, equal give and take of energy. You are quite sad about it. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. we have the ace of wands the 10 of wands and the knight of wands you feel like having a brand new beginning with this particular person you feel like dropping the weight between you and them and you feel like taking certain kind of action towards this towards the situation or you feel like this person should take action towards you but because they are not doing anything about it because the situation is too heavy and burdensome to carry around you are feeling the like painful kind of energy you feel heavy uh, you feel like having a brand new start brand new chapter opening in the situation leaving all the past issues behind and starting a connection all over again in some cases you are trying your best to go ahead with a completely new energy a new person a new connection uh, but you are still hurt broken and still carrying past pains with you that is what is happening okay so aries leo sagittarius and uh, we have gemini and libra aquarius again please go with the energies not with the signs let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation 10 of wands this person wants to drop this burden some situation and want to have this uh, soulmate kind of energy back in the connection i don't know what kind of burden some situ burden some situation or heaviness is going on between you guys because of mr just give me a second something is there it's bothering me a lot anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know i have good lips yeah i'm so sorry about it being a girl right anyway so this person wants to drop this burden some and heaviness uh, kind of energy between you guys and you know have a peaceful calm kind of energies there is something burden some there is something very heavy weighing uh, this situation down either this person is too much stressed out about work job and uh, you know family responsibilities or career responsibilities or they are not able to uh, able to give you the connection the commitment the marriage the long term partnership kind of energy that you are desiring for there is something very very heavy stressing this person out on a very very mental and emotional level hmm this person wants to clear the air with you about this connection they don't want any kind of deceptive kind of energy they don't want any kind of lies or cheating or 
uh, hiding or something like this. All they want is clarity at uh, the truth about the particular situation between you and them. Now, I do see uh, Aries. It could be a completely new person that you started dating or meeting like uh, five, for some of you it's five weeks ago, five weeks ago, five months ago or five uh, days also you can say. But the situation is too heavy and too burdensome to carry around. So somebody wants the clarity and truth about the situation. They don't want to live in the situation forever, like in this uh, heavy and burdensome kind of energy forever. So all they want is clarity and truth and without any kind of manipulations and cheatings and any kind of uh, deceiving kind of energy. See, this person feels a soulmate connection with you. They want a soulmate deep level kind of connection with you. But everything is kind of up in the air. Nothing is making sense to you. Nothing is making sense to them. So it could be newish kind of energy starting from 5 months to 5 weeks. Okay. For some of you, it's a past energy still lingering over your head. Because of that, you are not able to uh, connect with new people, new energies. Let's see what you want from this person or this situation. What are your intentions? Hi, of You want to have a higher level of commitment. It could be possible one of you is ready to give the commitment and have this long-term kind of partnership. But one of you is very much stressed out like uh, what we should do whether I am ready for this commitment or not. So I do see in your case, you are the one who is not able to, you know, connect on that higher level of commitment kind of energy. Although you want it, although you want to have a, you know, a good kind of relationship, a deep level kind of connection, but you're not able to give it to them or to yourself also. Let's clarify the Hierophant. So you want the higher level of commitment kind of energy. You want this uh, spiritual kind of connection with somebody. Taurus energy here. Let's see. We have the temperance and the hermit and the wheel of fortune. Okay. So you want this commitment and higher level of connection and all these things, but not right now. Aries, you are in this energy of let me be very patient with myself. Let me think about this. Like, let, let me think about this at least for next 10 months, <laughs> 10 weeks to 10 months. Okay. In some cases, you are in this energy of let the universe decide. Let, uh, let's uh, take things really very slow. Okay, let the universe decide for us. Let's not rush into anything. Let's not make any kind of permanent decision on temporary feelings or make any kind of, you know, decisions just because we are not stable minded right now. Whatever the situation may be from your side, from their side, a lot of things are up in the air between you guys. Even if you guys are talking to each other, communicating with each other, you guys are not able to be honest with each other completely, 100% truthful, right? And uh, Taurus, uh, sorry, Aries, uh, Especially from your side, I do see you want to take a lot of time this time to connect with somebody or reconnect with somebody on a higher level of commitment. Okay. So you could be dealing with Virgo, Sagittarius and Taurus. This is something big. This is something big and huge going on for you in your love life. And you just don't want to mess this up. This is what it is. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 23rd of April. Ten of Pentacles, lots of prosperity, lots of abundance. You will be super focused on money, job, career. Or it could be possible a new person is entering in your life and they are going to uh, be very rich or they are going to be very mature and practical and grounded. Let me clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Whatever it is, it is very beautiful, abundant, prosperous and uh, lots of successful kind of energy. Let's see. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn kind of energy entering in your life. Just relax, okay? I'm sorry. Yes. We have the Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, there will be lots of growth and expansion, and you're going to fi you're going to finally get uh, the clarity, the truth about a particular situation, about a particular person, about a particular relationship, and that will straight away lead to this happiness, this growth, expansion, and lots of abundance and prosperity kind of energy between you guys. So finally, you are going to gain the clarity and the truth about a particular situation or relationship between you and somebody. And there will be lots of growth and expansion after the after everything is going to be clear. Everything is going to be crystal clear between you guys, okay? Between you and uh, somebody specific. And that will lead to lots of happiness, prosperity, growth, and expansion. And I do see this is a newish kind of energy or I told you five weeks to five months kind of old kind of energy that you are connected with. Okay. And you were not able to connect with them on that kind of level that you wanted or they wanted. Now you will be by the 23rd of April. Okay, honey. That's a really good news. I'm so happy for you. God bless you. See, lots of abundance, lots of prosperity, lots of happiness. Sun is the happiest card in the deck. 
so i don't think you need my um, guidance but let's see lots of you people uh, love the guidance part so i have to do it for you yep yeah. let's see what is the guidance for you people for this situation i think uh, being very very clear and being very honest with yourself and with the other person is the guidance okay the guidance is do not block this energies if somebody is coming towards you with love with the maturity with practicality with this long term partnership kind of energy do not block this energy by your fears or limiting beliefs or this energy of i still need a lot of time sometimes all we need is a gut feeling about something right if your gut is telling you that this particular person this particular relationship or situation is good for me please go ahead with that i and now again you don't have to rush towards marriage okay i'm just saying give it a chance give it a shot do not be in this energy of i'm never going to find happiness i'm never going to find a happily ever after with somebody or with anybody okay do not let your negative mindset or your limiting belief or your painful past uh you know um, let you enjoy the beautiful future that's ahead of you okay because 10 of pentacles is twice here so something very beautiful something very beautiful nurturing caring and practical and grounded is coming your way do not spoil it okay i think with this energy you will be able to heal also from the past energy completely with time okay so go ahead with it and do not uh, let your limiting belief or let your negativity or negative experiences of your life uh, you know stand in front of you stand be like in between you and this prosperity and happiness that's about to come so congratulations yeah so thank you so much uh, aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste